Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be reviewing the Foscam FI9831P. So this is the plug and play IP camera that can be either 720p or 960p. So I have it currently set up in the living room. And right now the res resolution is set to 960, so there's more of the top and more of the bottom. I'm going to set it to 720 so you can see what it looks like. So at 720, it just, you can see just part of the, the play sets. Um, the stool, the leg for the table, and I'm going to set it back to 960. You can see it completely down to the floor, more of the top, more of the bottom. Now, another test I'd like to just demonstrate is currently there's just two lights in the room. What I'm going to do is turn off the light right now, and night vision will kick on automatically. So I'm going to just walk closer towards the FOSS cam. And it's grayscale, so it's not that easy to make out the uh, subject's face clearly. But if I stand too close, let's say that I was standing probably like five feet, then I think that's probably too close to view the camera. Any any closer, then everything becomes more white, more bright, and you start to see less uh, features on the face. That's for folks who want to use this like a secure for like a security camera. Well, I'm just. Let me turn right and left. So the speed of the pan tail that can it can be controlled in settings and goes diagonally if I wanted to. So under the settings tab, there are a plethora of, uh, of options. And what I'll say is, take your time, browse through it, because who knows, you might actually find some things that you actually want to use. There are a lot of settings in here. And for example, over here on the playback, currently I don't have an SD card. Um, insert into this device, but if I did, I can basically browse my recordings remotely if I wanted to. And one reason why I don't have an SD card in there right now is because I'm also using the Foscam Cloud. So with the Foscam Cloud, I can browse my recordings. And currently I have my fi 9831 piece set here, and I set the motion detection level to low, and it's recording both the video and also the image. So these are just images. Let me try to find a video one. So this one's video. And this is, oh, so this was just me moving the camera around. Now let's get to the pros and cons. First, the pro. Previously, I reviewed the FI9821P and I loved it. With this unit, I also love it because it's 1.3 megapixel 960p has a QR code on the bottom, so setup for remote viewing on my iPhone or Android device is very simple. It has all the features of the FI9831W, so if I still want to hook up to like an MVR, like the Synology for example, or even Foscam Cloud, I can still create the port forwarding rules and set up that way. Another reason why I like this so much is the price point now. It's about $150 to $160, and I think for a HD camera that's 1.3 megapixel and with all these features, it's at affordable price range. There aren't really any cons I can find for this unit at this time. Uh, it's when when a pan tilts, it's not loud. The audio quality for the microphone speaker is a little bit clicking, but then again, I never recommended these type of units to be used in like a classroom type of setting. Another benefit with the Foscam is that you're not stuck with your proprietary app. Let's say you don't want to use the, the Foscam viewer app, you can use like Live Cams Pro or any other other view, third party viewing softwares. All right, so thank you for watching this review on Awkward Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.